Hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, hi! <laughs> okay, so it's morning. My face ashy and the sun is shining, y'all. <clears throat> okay, that's better. And I'm on my way to this healing walk. And um, I just needed to come on and start this process, you guys. Um, <clears throat> I have been so, and I won't even lie, it's, it's nothing but the, my, all of what I'm going to share has been um, witchcraft manipulations, family altars, demonic uh, covenants and altars of the bloodline, just different things that I'll be sharing as it relates to my journey and my experiences that I have had. Um, and then the awareness that I was I have not been crazy all this time okay um, all this time you know the narcissistic abuse the manipulation um, when people when demonic entities are assigned to your life to come into your life and narcissistically abuse you anybody who knows what narcissistic abuse is it's a person who comes into your life very strong for force um, love bombs you tells you they love you love everything about you they are god sent everything about your connection is intentional and purposeful it's god's purpose god's will for your life or it's destiny or whatever the universe brought it together whatever the belief is because this is you know we all have our, our different journeys or whatever i believe in jesus christ only i praise him i worship him uh, there's nobody like god um i do understand and believe that you know there is only one true and living God and many ways that he allows us to be introduced to his love so um, I do not judge anyone for what their path of belief is as it relates to finding who God is um, as long as we, we all can trust together and walk together in agreement that you know Jesus is the Son of God okay and that's controversial as well even if you don't believe that love you know god doesn't call me to condemn he doesn't call me to convict that is his job he calls us to love so that's a whole thing in itself there um and, and it's something that we have lost touch with for so long um you know because of religion and because of our personal convictions and desires and all those things we have to understand that everybody's grace is not the same which is why one person can um you know be strung out on drugs and another person can have a mom who's a crackhead and never want to touch drugs you get what i'm saying so um yeah that's that number two um the next thing i want to talk about is what is currently happening right now and I'm currently experiencing that. I realize that sometimes we can word curse ourselves and sometimes we can see ourselves in such a light that we allow our patterns to become what not to do. And, you know, I pray that this next season will be such a season of vindication that we will no longer wear the label of what not to do, but um, the glory that comes after. Oh, y'all tripping oopsie so yeah I'm sorry y'all I'm driving and the people I, I need to drive safe but anyway oh wow okay yeah so okay so since going to since I went out of the country I want to say even before then you guys um when i began to want to discover the truth of this this spiritual journey that we're on this spiritual journey that we're on from the beginning god began to reveal so many things in the spirit realm you know gifts and callings are without repentance you know I, one of my prayers many years ago 
when they ask me, you know, write down five things that you want to see happen in your life. One, the, the main thing was to know my purpose and to know why it was that God put me in the earth. In me. That, was, that is like one of the main things I ever wanted to know. Um, and when I asked God that, <laughs> he began to reveal himself to me in a supernatural way, in a way that I had never seen before and never experienced before. You know, we submit to God in different ways at every different level of our journey. You know, when you're a when you're a babe in Christ, you submit to God on a on the base level, and then when you uh, elevate, when you level up in ascend, then you submit to God again. You know, it's almost as if we're constantly having to um, increase in humility for what it is that God is doing in our lives. You know, it requires a deeper level level of submission at every stage. Okay. Um, and I'm telling y'all right now, this is legit the Holy Spirit because I'm not, I don't have nothing written down and it's just flowing from my heart, um, whatever the Lord is placing for me to say, because it is overdue for those of us who, um, have something on the inside to continue to be suppressed and oppressed. That is the intention right now in this season i will even say for the this year is so pivotal the past couple the past seven years have been crazy okay they have been intentional god has been trying to get us to see him once again we're at that hundred year mark or so you know that cycle of humanity where god is trying to reset the earth he's trying to reestablish us of with the intention that we were created for and that's to bring him glory to worship him and to have dominion in the land in the earth but we cannot have dominion without true understanding of what it is he created us to do and to be um and having dominion doesn't mean being proud it doesn't mean control and manipulation it doesn't mean that um you know having dominion mean means understanding who you are and the, and the power that god has given you through the holy spirit to call things that be not as though they are you know to to live the word of god pretty much you know li literally to just live the word of god um 